Hello folks, welcome to Nutritious Fitness. I'm your host, Kurt Dirksen, certified personal trainer. I want to go over the topic of failure today in the context of life, everything, fitness, nutrition, overall health, mental health in particular. Failure often elicits negative responses in our mind and it's understandable. We've had a lot of failures, all of us in our lives, that hurt one way or another, physically or emotionally. Myself, been through changes in various employment opportunities due to failure on a certain career path or just stress drove me out. Uh, relationships, we've all probably, those of us old enough to date and beyond, been through some tough times in our relationships. Uh, cycling is a good one for me, physical pain, flying over the handlebars, Ideally, the landing doesn't go too bad. I've never broken anything. Many people have. That's just another example of failure. Failure that physically hurts. Uh, education. I've been down some paths that didn't work out so well for me in the past. And even in recent years, and I'm sure others have too. So, those are some of the failure examples. Let's start with fitness. And I'm just going to demonstrate what failure looks like. I'm going to do a push-up good old fashioned push up to give you an idea of how you need to push yourself to that failure point. It's not, I don't feel like doing another one. It's not, oh, my muscles are burning. I don't think I can do another one. It's do another one until you can do no more. So, assuming the push up position, I'm just gonna film straight on here so you can see I'm not getting sloppy with my shoulders. And I'm just gonna go down slow, up. You can see right now, even though I just did a chest workout, couple days ago. It's not too bad. I'm not trying to set any records here. It's probably people that can do 100 push-ups. It's already getting more difficult. Probably hear me heavy breathing before this is all over. Pushing it. Feeling my chest muscles starting to burn. Oh, I'm not a guy that can do a lot of push-ups. It's getting hard but I got another one in me. It's getting really hard. Still got some in me. I'm doing that pause at the bottom. Still got it. I don't think I have another one, but I'm gonna try. No, oh, well. Muscles gave out. True failure. I had to collapse. Obviously, if you're doing a barbell squat with no supports beside you, if you're doing a barbell bench press, you don't have a spotter, and you got hundreds of pounds over your chest, don't go to failure unless you've got a spotter or spotters. An example of failure. So again, you got to push your workouts to that failure point. This isn't something that hurts too much emotionally, unless you try to do a pull up and you can't even do one. <laughs> Seen a lot of people complain about that. Catch my breath here. All right. Nutrition. We'll talk about nutrition. Take a break from the fitness, the exercise. Still recovering from that last push up. So, anyway, <laughs> nutritionally, lots of failures there. Our overweight and obese American society. <laughs> the perfect example of how we're failing ourselves. And a lot of that is. People trying to lose weight, trying to eat better, failing, and giving up. That failure is hard. We've all experienced it. But you got to push on, all right? You make a commitment to stop eating chocolate. Just as an example of something I'm pursuing right now. Second day, third day, have a chocolate bar. Failed. It's all over. I give up. I'm going to go back to eating chocolate. Wait a minute. How about keep trying? All right, dust yourself off and say, okay, Monday, Tuesday, I didn't have a candy bar. Wednesday, I did. Thursday, Friday, I'm gonna try again. Saturday, Sunday, and so on. Also look into your motivations. Again, just my chocolate example right now. I'm at about two months, about eight weeks, nine weeks, really two months of not having chocolate, cutting down on sugar. I used to eat 150 to 200 grams a day of just sugar. Look into it if you like on a computer, that's a lot. I'm down to about 50 to 70, and that's all coming from 
watermelon, bananas, the occasional treat of some breakfast cereal. So I've cut back, and the reason I've gotten so far this time is my motivation in the past was to try to affect the scale. Not a good enough reason for me. I'm doing okay on the scale. But this time, I want to see what the cause of my high blood pressure is. I want to change some lab values in my blood work at the doctor, unrelated to sugar. But sugar, chocolate, might be having an influence. New motivation. Motivated. Longest I've ever gone without chocolate in my life. Previously, about three, three and a half weeks. Again, I'm at two months and I'm not done. I got another month till I even schedule with the doctor. And then I have to wait until I see the doctor, get the blood work done, before I can even consider having chocolate again. Look for a new motivation if weight loss or whatever isn't good enough for you. you now, just a challenge if need be. Yeah, it might be better than what happens on the scale. Uh, just nutritionally set goals that are realistic uh, so that you can achieve them. Never uh, used to eat broccoli more than once a week? Go for seven days a week along with whatever else you're having. Bottom line is, do it. If you fail, do it again. If you fail, do it again. Don't give up. Excuse me. Ah, and finally, just mental, emotional health. We've all been bruised. Again, going back to some of those examples I gave at the beginning. Relationships, work, things that beat you up, and you gotta dust yourself off and do it again. Certain career path didn't work, change it. Just do it. You know, education didn't work, try again. I had to wait over 20 years of my life just going out there and working, making a good paycheck, but unhappy. But finally, before I finally said, darn it, I'm gonna pursue college, finish a degree, two year degree for me for now, but that's more than I've done in the past. I'd always quit, I'd always given up. I wanted money. And you know what? For over 18 years as a software engineer, I got money but I didn't find happiness there. Failed, all right? Financially succeeded for a while, failed at being happy. I was quite miserable. So I was ready to quit, quit a lot of things. I won't get into that. <laughs> Bottom line is that you've got to keep working at it, all right? Whether it's your fitness, pushing yourself to the limit, failure, much like I just showed an example of in the push-ups, nutrition, making sound nutritional changes, that may be tough, you may fail, you may pick up that food you said you weren't gonna have or have too much of this and that. Okay, pat yourself on the back for acknowledging your failure, do it again. And then just mental, emotional health, take care of you. If you feel like a failure, feel it. Soak it up and say, okay, all right, deal with that emotion, acknowledge it, and then brush yourself off get up, get out there, and do the same thing again, trying to go longer, trying not to fail, or if the path you chose the first time that led to failure didn't work, choose a new path, whatever that means as far as your fitness, nutrition, your overall health. All right, love failure, pursue it, realize the benefits of it, and then we all deal with it. Thank you for joining me today. Remember, fitness is nutritious, nutrition is fitness, Fitness and nutrition together are health.